FAMIL EXF. Three years ago, FAMIL, a legacy motorcycle brand from Portugal, decided to make a market comeback with the help of an electrified version of their classic bike. To date, the company has been preparing this lightweight cafe racer for mass production and is currently trying to secure the required funding to start this process. The newcomer embraces its heritage and keeps most of the visual elements close to the original while the powertrain and brakes were significantly upgraded or completely replaced. Now this model uses an electric equivalent to a 125cc powertrain. It's a 5 kilowatt motor that brings 60 mile per hour speeds. The EXF weighs about 220 pounds without batteries. With two 1.8 kilowatt hour batteries, you can expect up to 75 miles of travel. The complete recharging cycle is said to last from four to five hours. Old Soren Cafe Racer Guys at the Old Soren Motorcycle Company decided that electric mopeds should not only be compact, lightweight, and practical, but also good-looking. So they gave a proper cafe racer design to their first model. The model has a fully blacked-out matte paint job with white decals, a low handlebar, a round vintage headlamp, and a brown leather seat with a stitched diamond pattern. Despite giving off a serious motorcycle vibe, it's still a moped that's equipped with a set of pedals and a 72-volt powertrain with three performance settings. The restricted mode is for city riding, while the off-road modes unlock the full potential of the mid-mounted chain-driven electric motor with a 4-kilowatt output and a 72-volt 60-amp-hour battery pack. The setup can bring 65mph speeds, a riding autonomy of up to 90 miles, and fast charging capabilities they can top up the battery to up to 80% level in about four hours. Maving RM1S the new Maving RM1S brings a significant performance boost, highway speed capabilities, and a bunch of technical upgrades, including a redesigned motor setup, improved suspension, brakes, seat design, and a reworked storage compartment that holds a more capable battery pack and 10 liters of your cargo. The new model relies on a 7 kilowatt electric hub motor with 10.5 kilowatt peak capabilities. The new motor is now matched to a battery setup with 21,700 cells that offers a 30% increase in capacity compared to its predecessor. The setup consists of two battery packs with 2.7 kilowatt hours of capacity, thus ensuring the 65 mile per hour top speed and up to 80 miles of continuous riding. The battery pack also received an improved heat dissipation structure and the support of both onboard and external charging. The full 0 to 100% charge cycle is said to be about 4 hours. Over the past years, Maving managed to become one of the leaders in the UK market in terms of sales, so this year they announced an expansion to overseas markets. This expansion will also concern the US market. At this time, the American citizens can pre-order Maving's RM1S by leaving a $500 deposit, while the full purchase price set is $8,995. Atelier Heritage Bike Spirit Scrambler The looks of this electric scrambler were influenced by the motorcycle heritage of the past century. The two-wheeler is based on a black tubular frame and has a round vintage headlight, a large faux fuel tank, an elongated bench seat, and a set of knobby tires. The Spirit Scrambler offers specifications similar to the 125cc class. The available 7-kilowatt rear hub motor can generate 206 pound-feet of torque and enable 80 mile per hour speeds. The motor is paired to a 48 volt battery pack with 5.5 kilowatt hours of capacity. One full charge will reportedly give you up to 60 miles of riding. 
To qualify for the Scrambler class, this 189-pound bike was equipped with full EMC suspension that offers 120 millimeters of travel in the front and 80 millimeters in the rear. 17-inch wheels with Michelin Anarchy wild tires and standard Brembo four-piston front brakes at the front and one-piston rear brake. Finally, in a recent collaboration with Renault, the 10-unit limited edition bike called R4 Scrambler was created. This bike sports a neo-retro design inspired by the iconic Renault R4 car that was popular in the 1960s. Unlike the standard bike, the R4 Scrambler has a bold look with a light blue color scheme, knobby Hibenau tires, a revised lighting structure, and unique seat materials. RGNT Turbo. For the first time in many years, the well-known Swedish manufacturer of retro electric motorcycles has presented an all-new model. Just like its predecessors, it features an iconic, vintage-inspired look, but has a more lightweight construction suitable for urban riding and a more attractive price tag. This e-moto is suitable for A1 license holders and brings the 1980s vibe with two distinct color schemes called the Purple Rain and the Black Thunder to modern-day users. Although the manufacturer is yet to announce the full technical specifications and the list of available components, we already know that this retro machine will accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4 seconds. Owing that to 46 kilowatt output capabilities, ride at speeds up to 75 miles per hour, and cover up to 93 miles between charges. Yet another innovation that will find approval from the riders is the presence of a fast charging system. It can reportedly top up the battery in 90 minutes. It has taken this Australian startup three years to raise the required funding to develop an ambitious product roadmap and edge closer to the production of their C-Series electric motorcycles. Just like the pre-production prototype that was unveiled several years ago, the model will boast attention-grabbing cafe race styling. The C-Series bike will be offered in two power modifications, Alpha and Delta, with Alpha being the more powerful of the two. Depending on the chosen model, you will receive either a 40 or 60 kilowatt electric liquid-cooled motor. The 40 kilowatt motor will generate 103 pound-feet of torque and will let you sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. The torque parameter for the 60 kilowatt motor unit raises to 147 pound-feet, while the acceleration time is slashed to just 3.5 seconds. Alpha's bike powertrain will feature a 16.7 kilowatt hour battery pack, good for 125 miles of riding. The Delta modification has a slightly smaller 4.2 kilowatt hour pack that offers an estimated range autonomy of 93 miles. Both models also offer a fully adjustable Wilbur's fork, YSS rear shock, Brembo M4 brakes, and a large digital display for reading important technical indicators. Ride Mercury R01 It's been established that electric motorcycles and other EVs don't fully solve current pollution problems. However, they have a great chance of minimizing them, especially if EVs are not produced from scratch but are upcycled from old models by retrofitting. A French company called Ride Mercury has developed an EV conversion kit for BMW R Series 6 and Series 7 bikes. At first, the company engineers evaluate the restoration potential of the bike and then replace the old engine with a 15 kilowatt electric motor and a 10 kilowatt hour battery pack. After the conversion, the bike weighs 471 pounds, which is slightly less than the original. With a zero emission powertrain, this bike can generate 35 kilowatts of peak output, 250 pound feet of torque, and reach speeds up to 80 miles per hour. The manufacturer estimates up to 90 miles of riding 
while complete recharging time is about three and a half hours. Yologo City Monster Yologo is an uprising EV manufacturer with a plan to launch two battery-powered two-wheelers in early 2025. An urban moped suitable for commuting or deliveries in a scrambler-style motorcycle called the City Monster. The latter has a lightweight construction, a striking retro design, a long leather bench seat for riding two up, and a mid-drive motor offering a performance similar to the 125cc class. The City Monster has a 32-inch seat height, 53-inch wheelbase, and weighs about 240 pounds. Its motor pushes out 11 kilowatts and brings the bike to the top speed of 65 miles per hour. One full charge of the 5.5 kilowatt hour battery could reportedly last up to about 90 miles and needs about 3 hours to be fully recharged from the built-in 2000 watt charger. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.